What's going on guys, Tyler here, and it is an exciting time because Elementor 3.1 is now available to the public, so this is very, very exciting. We're gonna talk in this video all about Elementor 3.1 and get a first look, and there what is one feature that I have not discussed on my channel that is a very, very big feature they added in 3.1, so you're not gonna wanna miss this whole video. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to smash that nice red look and subscribe button. Join the family, be notified of upcoming videos just like this one. I have a ton of videos here on my channel all about Elementor, and I continue to put these out on a regular basis, so you'll want to make sure that you are subscribed. And of course, guys, it wouldn't be one of my videos without mentioning Elementor Pro. Elementor Pro is a fantastic plugin with so many different features attached to it. It is the premium version of Elementor, so check out that link down below in the description. It'll be that first link right down there and see what kind of price you can get for it. It really is a great plugin. It has features that will improve the overall design and just enhance the style of your website. But not only that, it has a lot of functionality features such as multi-step forms, for example. There are a lot of different features that you'll be able to integrate right into your site right off the bat as soon as you upgrade to Elementor Pro. So I always recommend it. Check out that link down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for it. Now let's go ahead and jump into my computer and talk about Elementor 3.1. All right, guys, so here we are in my computer and we have the version here 3.1.1. It is available for update, so that's super exciting. But before we update, it does have a warning message that says, please back up your website. So you'll definitely want to make sure you get your website fully backed up before you update. Now, it's not required, but highly suggested. And I also recommend that definitely that you are backing up before you update. There are some substantial changes right here that it says is are being made to Elementor 3.1 and we saw a lot of those in my previous videos that they are really making some big changes across Elementor. So you'll definitely want to back up because Elementor is probably the backbone of your website here on WordPress and we want to make sure that we are backed up and everything is safe before we update. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit this update button and let's see how the update is. Okay so I got Elementor updated. Now I have an update here available. You may or may not have this for Elementor Pro. It says version 3.1 1.0 dash beta 2 so this may be still a beta release I'm gonna go ahead and update though just so I have both of the, my plugins Elementor and Elementor Pro updated and of course if you haven't got Elementor Pro yet be sure and check that link down in the description now let's go ahead and jump into Elementor 3.1 now first things first let's go over and hover over Elementor and click on settings to go into our Elementor settings and then on these tabs right here we're gonna go ahead and click experiments now, once we're in the experiments tab here, we're gonna go down to improved asset loading. Now, this feature right here, the improved asset loading is going to be a big feature. It's one feature that I'm extremely excited about in this Elementor 3.1 update. If you haven't seen a previous video that I put out about this feature, click on the card at the top and go check out that video. In that video, I talk about what this feature is and why it is crucial to use it and optimize it on your website because it really does optimize a ton of different things to help your website improve speeds. And you're just gonna learn a lot by clicking on that video up there and checking that out. So I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it yet. Now let's talk about another feature that I, like I said, I haven't mentioned this on my channel before, but it is here in Elementor 3.1 and that is landing pages. Now, as you probably know, we've been able to make some landing pages with Elementor in the past. And one of my first videos I ever put out on my channel was two years ago talking about how to create a landing page and kind of like funnel using landing pages with Elementor. Now things have only got better with this update and we can go ahead and click right here and activate it and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now once we have this set to active we'll just hit save changes and then that should make an update over here on the left hand side when you hover over templates still under Elementor right below the Elementor menu there. Um, templates will click on landing pages right here and you can see what landing pages really do. Now before I click this add new landing page button, I want to remind you that previously, before we had this feature, we had to create landing pages by going over to the page layout settings and switching to an Elementor canvas, which basically removed our header and footer off the page and just left us with a blank page to go ahead 
ahead and design with Elementor. Now this was great, but if we wanted to use any kind of template for Elementor or a Elementor template that had been pre-designed, it was really hard to do because it really wasn't designed and laid out for landing pages. They were more designed for websites. Well, it's 2021 and Elementor 3.1 fixes that. Let's go ahead and add a new landing page. So I'm just gonna click here on this green button and get started and let's see what happens here. I have not done this yet. I've read about it and studied it and super excited for it. But here we are, we're back in the back end of Elementor, the page designer here, and look at all of these templates, holy cow. So I'm seeing there are a few, yeah, so these ones that have pro up at the top right corner are going to be for pro users only. So again, if you're looking to upgrade, click on that link down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for Elementor Pro. But look over here, we've got a beautiful, beautiful designed um, landing page layout right there. We've got some other ones right down here. This is also a free one. This one right here, a free version. I think these are really, really nice. Holy cow, I'm just really impressed with this. This right here, very, very well done. Um, let's just find one. And this is actually perfect because I'm actually needing to design a landing page right now. So I'm definitely gonna be using one of these templates. Um, let's go with this one. This one looks super nice. Let's go ahead and just insert it here. So there is another cool feature. You can actually, when you're in that menu and you hover over one of the landing pages, there will be a little heart. You can click that heart and it will save that landing page to your favorites. All right, guys, I went ahead and just previewed the page right off the bat. Look at how good this looks. Wow, Elementor, you did it again. Like seriously, this looks so good. So clean, so crisp, so just like cutting edge and very just modern and exactly what you would expect from a an app like a some kind of cell phone app or something like that that you can get in the app store. Um, just, it looks so good, it, it really does. So yeah guys, you can just take this whole template and edit it, design it however you want. You can just go ahead and uh, drag and drop things into it, whatever you wanna do here. I was looking at the mobile view there. Um, you can just, you can literally change anything. So if you wanna go ahead and change this and maybe change the color to red, you can go ahead and do that. Everything is editable on this template. All right, guys, so I'm back in my WordPress backend here and I am under templates and again under landing pages. And right here you can see that create new landing page button is gone. And right up here we'll use this button called add new to go ahead and create other landing pages. But right here you can see it actually saves your landing pages just like it would a WordPress page or anything like that. Um, you can just go ahead and edit it right here. You can rename it or do whatever you need to with it right here, but they're gonna, all gonna just live right under here, under templates, under landing pages. Now let's go ahead and add a new one here and look at some other ones. I think these are really, really amazing and I'm really impressed with how much time and effort they put into making these templates for us right here. Let's just click on this one. So if you click on the little plus, the little uh, magnifying glass with a plus, you can actually preview it. Look at how good this looks. Imagine, so imagine just going through and switching this color out for your brand color. Like everything would look really, really good and maybe even switching out the font for your brand font and you would pretty much have a landing page put together that just needs the content and it's ready to go. Now what I was gonna show you is right down here, you can see there's a little heart here. You can actually click that. And when you click that, it actually goes into your favorites. So right up here, if you're under the landing pages, you can click my favorites. I believe this also works for other templates as well, but it definitely works here for the landing pages and you can filter by your favorite landing pages. And then to get out of this, you're just simply gonna click my favorites and you're back to the catalog. Now let's look at just two, maybe one or two pro examples Examples here because I think the pro templates are really really nice look at this one right here this one looks really nice and I think right here yeah they've got the countdown so the countdown is actually going and you have this like cool like gradient fade effect over an image here so that could give you even an idea to replace your own image with this kind of like gradient effect you could maybe put that across your own image or maybe they even did it 
through Elementor. I'm not even totally sure how they did that, but you can get kind of ideas. Even if you have to recreate it with your own image, you can kind of have an idea of what looks really well with this template. Now they've got just some information here using some icons. They've got an appointment right here. And again, notice there's no menu, no header, no footer, anything like that. And that's because this is a landing page. They want people to come here. There's one clear call to action and that is right here, request an appointment. And then it's basically like squeezing them like you're either going to request an appointment or you're gonna leave the page. And that's really how you get some extra conversions is by not giving them a lot of different places to get lost in. You're basically just funneling them down to one specific call to action. All right, guys, I'm gonna go through these all on my own time. I really think there's some awesome, awesome stuff in here. Um, I just wanna go back and look at some other experimental features in Elementor 3.1. All right, and to get to this section again, you just go over to Elementor, Settings, and then go over to Experiments on the far right. And here we are with a few different experiments that they've got going on. We talked about the improved asset loading. If you haven't checked out that video, it is somewhere on my channel about Elementor 3.1. And uh, so definitely check that out so you know what the improved asset loading is. I do wanna mention here, optimize DOM output. This is going to affect code a little bit. It is going to change a little bit of the code in Elementor. So if you are having any kind of issues running, maybe some custom code, some custom, maybe CSS or HTML that you've put in your page, just come over here, make sure this is set to default. Um, you could even turn it to inactive if you're having any kind of issue there. Um, but it says in here in this little message here that maybe there are some code snippets that might not run exactly how they're planned. Um, it does mention developers, so I'm not even sure if this is only to third-party plugin developers or if to even us as little like website designers, if that could actually affect that. So if you are having issues, just switch that over to inactive. All right, guys, I am loading up my website and I just want to run this asset loading um, optimizer and see if it really improves speeds as much as I'm excited about. And we might have to actually run tests to be able to see that. But basically, we're going to go ahead and activate it, hit save changes go in an incognito browser because I don't wanna be logged into WordPress and see if this really makes any kind of noticeable change to the website. So I went ahead and closed out of my incognito browser. I just wanna go ahead and load this up now that the experimental feature is turned on and see how well it does. So I'm gonna hit enter in three, two, one. <laughs> Actually much quicker. That is surprising. Wow, that was actually quite a lot quicker. I even noticed a change. Wow, that was actually pretty impressive. I am actually pretty surprised that I even noticed the change. Like it was actually quite a bit faster. That is amazing, how cool. So if you guys haven't turned this on, I definitely suggest you turning it on. Um, that was very, very impressive actually. Good work, Elementor team. If you're watching this, congratulations on 3.1. This is an awesome update. Um, so go ahead and turn that on. If it causes any kind of issues on your website, you can always turn it off. But I, if it were me, I would definitely wanna have this active. And again, if you're interested, you can check out that video on my channel that talks all about this feature. It really is an awesome feature. But yeah, guys, that is Elementor 3.1. I am super excited for it. There are so many different features that I am just gonna really buckle down on and just focus on and grind out. And I'm super excited because I'm actually needing a landing page right now. So it is perfect timing just that Elementor 3.1 is coming out. I'm gonna go through the templates, find a really awesome template and go ahead and plug in my content and get my landing page all set up and ready to go. Also loading it a lot faster with this asset loading feature. Now I do want to just mention if you guys haven't upgraded to Elementor Pro yet, you can do that from the link down below in the description. Be sure and check that out. See what kind of price you can get for Elementor Pro. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure and smash that nice red looking subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It encourages me to continue to make videos just like this one and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And that does it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video. Take care.